system to economics for students. In the previous video, we explained how to measure national income using income method. In this video, we will explain expenditure method of measuring national income. To get national income in expenditure method, we add up the total expenditure incurred on goods and services by all the economic units. Estimation of national income by expenditure method involves some steps. Step 1. All the economic units which incur expenditure on final goods and services are divided into four groups. Households, business sector, government sector and rest of the world. Step 2. In step 2, we will see how these four economic units are spending on different goods and services. And this expenditure on goods and services in the economy is divided into four categories. Consumption expenditure by the household sector, investment expenditure by business sector, government expenditure, by the government sector and net export by the rest of the world. Now, we will explain all these four types of expenditure with all their components in detail. First, consumption expenditure. This is the expenditure by household on the purchase of consumer goods and services. Household sector does consumption expenditure for three purposes. Expenditure on purchase of non-durable goods like food, beverages, etc. Expenditure on purchase of durable goods like TV, car, etc. Expenditure on services like transport service, medical service, etc. Next component of expenditure is investment expenditure by the business sector. It is also divided into three categories. Fixed investment like machineries, equipments, factories, etc. Inventory investment. Inventory investment is measured by change in stock. Another part of investment expenditure is Expenditure on residential investment, such as purchase of new houses by the households or landlords. Next category of spending by the government sector is known as government expenditure. It is of two types. Government final consumption expenditure, which consists of expenditure on administration, defense, etc and capital expenditure, that is, public investment. Another final spending is with rest of the world. This component is called net export. Net exports are the difference between the value of goods and services exported to other countries and the value of goods and services imported from other countries. Now, all these four types of expenditure we can understand with one simple example. Suppose India has produced three televisions each worth rupees 5000 and two machines each worth rupees 10,000 in one year. In the same year, India has imported one mobile phone worth rupees 3000 from America. Now, in India, total consumption is one television produced domestically and one mobile phone imported from America. So, the total consumption expenditure is 5000 plus 3000 is equal to rupees 8000. If investment is one machine, the total investment expenditure is rupees 10,000. Government is using one television for consumption purpose 
and one machine for investment purpose. So, the total government expenditure is 5,000 plus 10,000 is equal to rupees 15,000. One more television produced in India is exported to other country. So, the export value is rupees 5,000. And one mobile phone is already imported. So, the import value is rupees 3,000. Thus, the net export is rupees 5,000 minus 3,000 is equal to 2,000. So, total expenditure in the year is gross final consumption expenditure plus gross private investment expenditure plus government consumption and investment expenditure plus export minus import that is net export. By adding all these expenditure, we get GDP at market price. Here, GDP at market price is rupees 35,000. In step 3, to find out national income, we have to add all these four types of expenditure in the economy, which are consumption, investment, government spending, and net exports. By adding these four types of expenditure, we get gross domestic product at market price or GDP at market price. To measure national income, we have to convert GDP at market price to NNP at factor cost. As we know, national income is same as NNP at factor cost. For that, we have to deduct depreciation from GDP at market price to get net domestic product at market price or NDP at market price. By deducting net indirect tax from NDP at market price, we get net domestic product at factor cost or NDP at factor cost. In the last stage, net factor income earned from abroad is added to net domestic product at factor cost to arrive at net national product at factor cost or national income. Therefore, in expenditure method, national income is equal to C plus I plus G plus X minus M minus depreciation minus net indirect tax plus net income from abroad. Precautions All final goods and services to be included irrespective of whether expenditure is incurred on them or not. Expenditure on intermediate products is excluded to avoid double counting. All expenditure on second-hand products should be excluded as expenditure on second-hand goods reflects only the transfer of ownership of these goods. Expenditure on financial assets and bonds is excluded as it reflects only the transfer in ownership of these assets.